Okay guys, this is my front door. Uh, so basically, um, it's been sticking for a while to be honest, so I should have maybe attended to it. So what's happening now is that you're opening this lock here. But as all the other locks, I don't know if you can see these little, little guys in there. So they're opening, but there's just one which is kind of sticking in here and I can't get to it. Um, so I can see that. I'll kind of open it and I don't really want to force it open as such, but one of these mechanisms is not opening. So I try to open this, but there's nothing I can do. So it just seems that the mechanism part of back here has either fallen off because it's like a little slip, kind of a little clip that goes up and down there. And that's what causes a deadlock. So there's loads of little sticky locks there and a lock there and lock there. So when you turn this, it kind of locks. And then when you turn this up, you can see, so this is all sealed now. So the up bits are all working, but there's one here that's not connecting to the bit inside. So I'm thinking, how do I get to that? And I've tried, I've tried sort of, sort of putting a screwdriver in there and trying to put a piece of plastic in there and trying to get to that, but that bit there, I don't know if you can see that. It's just like, it's not even a little one, so I can't really force it. It's quite big. So all, the, all this is coming apart here at the bottom, the door's coming apart because all these little bits here are opening. But the one that I need opening is quite a big chunky one here, right there, it's right there. That's the one I can't get to. So I have two options, force it, break the door. Well, the other option I have is coming over here, looking at these hinges, three, hin three hinges, there is to take the door off the hinges and then slide it away and see if that works and it will be a job for two people probably to be honest um so i would say make sure you've got somebody with you to help you so there's three hinges it's an old style door some of them have three locks there but this is quite easy one so there's three hinges well i say easy I mean, i've never done this i'm just an ordinary guy trying to do an ordinary thing I'll show you the door from outside as well, actually, so you can see what's going on. So this, so this is the door from outside. And even from the outside, as you can see here, there's room all the way up there. I can put my screwdriver through there. There's a handle and the door's unlocked, but it won't even come. So because the bit that's stuck, that right there, I don't really want to force it as such. So if I pull it, do it, it seals, locks fine. And then you can see that there's a gap there, but then it's like by here, I think it is, where it's locked. So my best option might will be is to take it off the hinges on that side and then slide the door away and check what's wrong with the mechanism inside. <sighs> I don't really want to batter it, I don't want to force it. You can see, so it's opening fine. It's one of the mechanism is stuck in one of these little things. It's not lifting upwards. It's just stuck in one of those. Stuck in one of these, yeah. Uh, okay, so I've had a look outside and I've decided that my best option, this is an old door as well, is to open uh, the hinges here and then slide the door sort of off that way. I'm quite lucky because I've got a couple of Allen keys and I've just got one Allen key here. And luckily it fits. So I'm gonna open all three of the hinges and then once it's open, this bit should come upwards, I suppose. Or I don't know what's gonna to happen to be honest. Like I said, I'm an ordinary guy just trying to learn DIY. If I can learn DIY my way. So once I open that, I don't know what I'm going to find, so that's why it's a good idea to have two people. So my son's giving me a hand, um, and it probably is a heavy door, so make sure that you've got decent shoes on as well. You don't want the door falling on your shoes. So let's open these hinges and see what happens. Wish me luck. So I'm quite lucky. It's one of these old style doors, and this bit, once I've unscrewed it, this cap comes off here. 
So all I will need to do is open all three of them. One, two, and then the third one's at the bottom. And once I've opened that, lift the door up and that should sort of free that side up and pull away whatever I need to do. So, so I've opened one, so I'm gonna open the other two. So I open this one, I've opened the middle one, and then I'm gonna open the bottom one. And then hopefully I just need to lift the door up and that should release the door. So as you can see, as you can see with the top lock here, this bit here kind of just comes out and that should free the top hinge and for you just to move the door open, okay? So I'm gonna do the same one at the bottom. As you can see this bit here, and there you can see that. I think that there's like a loose screw or something in there and that's what's stuck. I don't really want to put it too hard. So that's that's the culprit there. It looks like if the screws come away here from the PVC and it's just got stuck. It's always good. But well, unless it's come away from this door and that door is stuck. <laughs> it could be anything until I open it. Until it oh, okay. There's a bolt. Hey, these digital cameras are good after all. There's the bolt. So when I do that, yeah, it's just stuck. This bolt seems to have come away from the main door. And that's, I can't, just can't get my hand into there really. And it's deadlocked and it's just, it's stuck at an angle. So I might actually just get a screwdriver and straighten the angle out or push this screw out that way to unjar the door. Yeah, but use, you know, good use of cameras and Videos is always a good idea. So basically, got a screwdriver, and there you go, ladies and gentlemen. We have opened the door without actually taking the door off the hinges because I used a camera. And basically, what had happened is this screw here had come loose over time. You can see all these screws; they were, these are obviously security locks here. But this screw had come loose, and this bit here had got wedged in here like this that's all it was so you know a bit of perseverance and a bit of not know-how even to be honest like i say I'm, I'm just an ordinary guy trying to do things uh we've got the door open perfect and i didn't have to take it off the hinges but the option was there take it off the hinges but we did it well done Thank you very much, and I hope it works for you. But I, as I always say, is always have a go, but make sure there's always two of you. So the door now is fine opening, and I have this here bit to deal with. So it's my decision now whether I'm gonna put another one in there, even if I don't, because it's got like one, that was a deadlock that was, I could actually remove the deadlock or not put that in there. These are the deadlocks. So there's quite a few locks on the door anyway. So even if I didn't put this bit here, even if I didn't put that, oh, sorry, my child. So even if I didn't put that bit there, the door would still close fine. So let's have a look. So let's, look. So now that you have the door open, it's always a good idea to tighten these screws because over time, especially with old doors, they will get loose. So just get a screwdriver and just tighten all these screws. So tighten the whole strip there, unless obviously, uh, unless obviously you're gonna put a new strip in there. Just get a screwdriver, tighten all these screws, check them all out so you don't want the same thing happening again. And also on this side as well, okay? So these are the hinges to tighten these screws as well. So it was a good idea as well to tighten these. Thank you for watching. Hopefully it helped you in your hour of need towards the problem that you're having. Like I always say is have a go before calling the professionals in, but there are some things better left to the professionals. Please subscribe to the channel. Take care and I wish you the very best with whatever trouble you're having, but you can do it.